first guests on the show from County National Bank. We've got the president and CEO and chairman of the board, Craig Connor, along with regional vice president, Jackson Market, Tony Baker, and assistant vice president, treasury management officer, Libby Lashwood. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Great to be here. Yeah, great to have you here and great to see you all again. Uh, just last week, celebration and uh, grand opening ribbon cutting at your newest branch. Newest branch, Spring Arbor Road. Uh, beautiful day for that. It was well attended, uh, catered by Texas Barbecue. Mm -hmm. and, and RJ Heaven Delights. The uh, ice cream was outstanding as well. Um, so yeah, that was that was a nice nice event. Really enjoyed the turnout for it. Yeah, I think people were really happy. In fact, I was talking to one of the guests who booked West Texas Barbecue for their party uh, on Sunday at your event. Mm -hmm. So it was well, West Texas Barbecue was well received. Sure was. The food was great. Mm -hmm. Also, um, another reason to celebrate uh, the elevation of Tony Baker. Congratulations on your promotion. Oh, thank you, Bart. I appreciate that. Uh, we've actually had a few promotions in the last few weeks, Craig. Well, Tony, uh, he's regional VP of our Jackson market. He's going to um, supervise many of the commercial lenders, uh, pretty much all of them in, in this market. And Tony's 30 year banker, really tight in the Jackson community. Pretty much your whole career has been Jackson. It has. Right? And uh, he has a passion for banking, uh, like we all do. And he still finds it very fun. So that's always important to enjoy the job that you're doing. And then uh, Libby, uh, ABP, Treasury Management Officer, she was working in that area, uh, which is a big area for our bank. I think we have four or five hundred million dollars that you're kind of responsible for as far as servicing and bringing new products. Um, Libby's a 20-year banker, all in Jackson County. Yeah. So we're so pleased to have these talented people you know, step up in our organization and move up. Thank you. Also, we had uh, Bobby Rozak, uh, who was going to be with us here today, but I talked to him last Thursday. He said he had a, a Little League game he had to go to. Apparently, his daughter's <laughs> softball team has made the finals in the state, so they're uh, playing softball today. So wish them the best of luck today. Yeah, I, I think that's a good excuse to not be here. <laughs> daughter's softball. Not Little League, but, but, yeah, yeah. but softball. Well, isn't he also the coach? Uh, I believe. I, I'm not sure if on that team, well, but... Yeah. He, that's a responsibility. You Absolutely, have to, yes. You have to show up if you're the coach, yeah. for sure. Um, and, and Bob was promoted at about the same time that uh, Tony was. Um, and, and Bob has a long history of uh, commercial lending in Jackson, and he was promoted to our market president. I wish he could be here, but uh, more important things to do. Well, I think you had the whole team at the ribbon cutting event on uh, Spring Arbor Road. And it was, uh, I had been in the building before when it was, it was I think Fifth Third, was mm -hmm. it, Tony? Yeah. Years yeah. ago? It was years ago. And you've been using it, though, as a back office for the last few years, and now it's open. Yes, yeah, it's great to see that open. And we also have uh, another location that just opened this week uh, in Spring Arbor. Yes, yeah, not to confuse people, but one on Spring Arbor Road and the other on Spring Arbor Road. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Spring Arbor Road, uh, M60 in Spring Arbor is officially called Main Street. So you're on Main Street in Spring Arbor and Spring Arbor Road in Jackson. And that's actually a, an improvement in, I would say, both location and space. Uh, I, I <laughs> Giant scissors, always, always bringing a chair. So you got more space moving down the road. We do. There's, uh, it's, it's completely remodeled. It was a credit union. Um, I think American community well, choice. Community choice. Yeah. Thanks, Libby. And uh, we were in desperate need of remodeling the Spring Arbor branch, which is right across from the university. And uh, this made a great option to uh, really upgrade the facilities to a bigger and uh, newer office for sure. Uh, Amy Sherman, the, the branch manager, is she was in day two and I talked to her today and she said things were going quite well. So customers were receiving it well and we're, we're happy about that. We will probably have a grand opening there too soon. Uh, 
And speaking of grand openings, maybe Fields Building, you want to talk Fields about Building, that? Fields uh, Building, we're having a grand opening next week on Thursday from 11 to 1, so it's the second floor of the Fields Building. So if you're downtown and, and have some time, stop in, we'll have some food and show you around. Uh, Mercer did a great job with uh, renovations to that, that, that uh, portions of the floor that needed uh, renovations and uh, we're really, really grateful to the, the job they did and having the extra space, we got a little breathing room but uh, we're continuing to grow, so we're, we're, we're actually finding ourselves you know, almost running short already, but uh, a very beautiful space. So you were uh, previously in the American Title Building. You're out of that completely? Yeah, we were in Cortland, and we had some folks at uh, Loan Production Office uh, there on Spring Arbor, which is now the branch. So we've combined those both on the second floor of the Fields Building. And Libby, tell us a little bit about uh, your role, what, uh, what a Treasury Management uh, Officer uh, is at CNB. Yeah, so at Treasury Management at County National Bank, we work very closely with our commercial team. We assist all of our business customers with their online banking, um, which is um, a variety of different services that we offer through the online banking, as well as with their deposit services. So with the online banking, they're able to utilize check scanning, um, ACH origination, positive pay, and wires. So just the convenience to offer to our customers so that they can access their banking. Nice. Yeah. Well, we've had, I think, what, a 20-year uh, history of CNB and Jackson? Uh, yes, we opened at Cortland, uh, 2001. I, I think we had five employees. I remember being at that ribbon cutting. Um, and we've just had a great run ever since then. Uh, we continue to commit um, dollars and resources to the community. And we work a community bank business model that's been very successful for, for our bank and our customers and our communities for sure, and also our employees. I see a lot of the credit goes to Craig and, and the board. They've really done a tremendous job of supporting the bankers to, to uh, you know, help the community. It's really been a, a blessing. Yeah, Craig, I remember being at that ribbon cutting too, and there were uh, people that were saying, well, I don't know, these folks from Hillsdale, they've, there's no drive-through, there's no uh, teller cages. <laughs> I don't know, is it gonna work? Do you think, uh, to, when you look back at, at that decision that you and the board made to come into Jackson, did you anticipate it would be as successful as, it, as it's turned out? That's a really good question. At the time, uh, I couldn't have imagined it, it would go as well as it did over 20 years. Uh, but hard work, um, dedication, just working the business model, you know, the results have been outstanding. And it, they, the community has embraced us. Um, and there were some exits of larger banks where maybe they sold some branches and paid less attention to the marketplace, which helped us, but you still have to be there and you've got to be able to deliver. And, and our team did that. And I think, Tony, you've, you've seen that from both sides because you, you did work for one of these big regional banks that wasn't able to uh, serve the community as, as um, perhaps you would have wished. Yeah, it was a it was a it was a challenge for me uh, working for a large regional. To put it put it mildly, um, and you know, having started my career at Citibank and Trust, a small community bank, it's been very refreshing for me to to get back to a community bank and the atmosphere and, and actually being able to make decisions that impact the community in a positive way. And let me we talk about the people at CNB. Uh, Bobby, being an example, is uh, has a family commitment today, and. That's where he is with the, his daughter and, and uh, softball. Community involvement uh, is something that is is uh, asked of uh, by the by the team at CMB. Absolutely, um, that's something that we really take pride in is our community involvement. CMB donated over nine hundred thousand dollars last year in sponsorships and charities, as well as our employees have logged over twenty one hundred hours of volunteer service. So it just speaks volumes that. We not only are, um, you know, want to bank, but we want to support our communities. The, the bank has been here through um, two, I would say, significant um, financial milestones in this community. One, 2008-2009 recession, and then again uh, with the, uh, the pandemic. And I think a lot of people saw how different uh, community bank and CMB is from uh, those other types of banking institutions during during those events. Tell us a little bit about how how you weathered the recession and the pandemic and 
the role you played as a bank in helping people and businesses <coughs> make it through those, those terms as well. I, I can speak better to the recession because I was first hand on that one, you know, the 08, 09, 2010. The, the one advantage we had, um, we know our markets, we were a strong bank, uh, we weren't hurt as badly as many banks, so we were able to continue business as usual and actually grow. We prospered through that whole thing, if you can imagine that, because so many banks didn't even make it. Um, the pandemic is, I mean, our performance was outstanding. Um, the, the PPP performance that we did, I think we did $200 million worth of loans, which have most all been forgiven. Uh, but people stood up our, our ability to get those loans out to customers quite quickly. And I wasn't, I, well, I wasn't at CNB for the, for the majority of the time for that. So I, I, I kind of saw it from the other side where we, we, we uh, floundered around with it, I guess, and fumbled uh, a lot of relationships because we were able to process things timely where CMB was able to, was very nimble and move very quickly in getting customers taken care of. So um, CMB really did a great job in that whole process. And um, the, the, the team that uh, they'd assembled on the credit side and the hours they put in, uh, I know were, were extensive. So, um, you know, kudos mm -hmm. to all those folks. And I think, uh, Libby, you had um, people working um, overnight pulling all-nighters and, and working on weekends to process the PPP loans and, and uh, other uh, uh, pr products that you were offering to the pandemic. Absolutely. The team really pulled together and worked um, to be able to achieve and meet the expectations and deadlines that were needed to serve our customers. So um, that's something that I really admire about CMB as well, is that the team works so well together to make sure that we're meeting customer service needs and expectations. You brought along uh, some photos. Let's take a look. Uh, in addition to the ribbon cutting, where you can uh, take a look at the photos from last Thursday, we've got uh, these photos. Tell us about uh, this event. Did someone win a prize? <laughs> <laughs> you recognize? You know, honestly, I don't. Know. I don't recognize the picture. I to think be it's honest. the Fourth of yeah, July. I uh, think it was a parade yeah. that our staff had participated in. Okay. And they shared pictures of that. Um, as well as you can see, there's Amy Sherman from our Spring Arbor branch, and this is um, Jennifer Stoner, one of our mortgage lenders, um, attending an event there and supporting Jackson. Yeah, I think that was a real, Realtors uh, Jar event. Yes, that's correct. That's exactly what that was. And you've been at Jack's Ball. And mm -hmm. that's, and, you know, another thing, I think a lot of people uh, see County National Bank as um, an organization that uh, sponsors things. And, and uh, well, let's talk about those. The Air Beer and Wine, I think, most recent one that you've, mm -hmm. you've been heavily involved in. Yeah, um, we definitely are involved in a lot of different events. The Art, Beer, and Wine was very well received. It's a fun event for everybody to attend, as well as we like our business customers to, well, all of our customers to attend those events as well. Um, our staff is very supportive of the events that we sponsor by volunteering, so it was very well attended. In addition to events, uh, institutions like the Jackson YMCA, CMB yeah, yeah, I'm on the gift. board at the YMCA, so yeah, the, the, the uh, YM is very appreciative of not, not only CMB, but all the other entities throughout the community that have stepped up to help support that project. It's been, uh, it's been uh, you know, a uh, very enjoyable process. A little stressful at times, but <laughs> it's also very enjoyable, rewarding to see the, the positive things happen in the community. And Bart, to, to speak to the success that we've had in Jackson, in, in Hillsdale, Lenaway County too, but it's given us the ability to put back into the community and that wouldn't be the case if we hadn't been as successful and we hadn't been embraced by the community and had so many good customers that, that have come to bank with us. So, I mean, it's a two-way street. Uh, you said we, how much did we donate last year? Um, I believe it was 943000 in 2021, yeah. and that's with donations and sponsorships. So back maybe 2003 or four, that there was no way we could see that happening. But now, boy, it's great to be a part of that. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's nice to be able to support the charities and the events that our customers support so that we're able to get involved and, and help them achieve um, the, you know, what they want to do for their goals. And as a, a public uh, company, your, your board, your, your uh, investors, uh, you're for profit. This is money that they, they want, they decided uh, that they want to be, be giving to the community. It's a good point. It, it all works. You know, there's a question of balance. Um, we can't give the bank away, so to speak, but we, you know, it, there's payback. It's an investment and it actually makes a return for the shareholders over time. Well, we saw evidence of uh, growth over the last uh, few weeks with the uh, new branch and the uh, expansion of the Spring Arbor branch. So what's, what's ahead? What, uh, what's the future of County National Bank uh, in Jackson County look like? I, I would say we, it's business as usual. Uh, we continue with the same bank business model. It, there's no reason to think that that is not gonna work well for us. We're kind of all about organic growth. Some banks grow by merger and acquisition. We grow by organically just creating new customers and new fans. And uh, people like this will certainly be able to get that job done for us. Um, I just started yesterday giving, <laughs> giving, 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 giving Craig uh, my thoughts on maybe some new locations and some things. So I just started working on them. But the plan is to keep, uh, keep growing. And I would say just to continue to provide excellent customer service and be involved in the communities that we're in to support um, charities and different events that we have. So I think that is really speaks volume about being a community bank. I think you make a big impact just as a, a major employer in the community. Uh, hundreds of people and, and uh, you're adding, you're looking for more people. We are. I, I know we have over 60 that just work in the Jackson market and we have 220 bank wide. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to our directors, uh, Steve Madalina and Joe Dunnigan. Uh, familiar names in Jackson, they've been so supportive of uh, the bank and the community. They're passionate about uh, making a difference in Jackson County. Uh, we also have an advisory board, Kurt Parker, an attorney, he's on that board, and so is Steve Zimba. And we get input from them and then we act on it. And so they do have a, a definite role to play and it's been a real positive one for many years. Well, Craig, you've um, been a great partner with JTV for many years. We appreciate that uh, as well and uh, your, uh, your uh, contribution to our success. Yeah. We're happy to do it, and thank you for your business. Thanks for coming in today. Congratulations. Thank on you. Your promotions and on your growth and uh, success. Right. Uh, County National Bank President, CEO, and Chairman of the Board, Craig Connor, along with Regional Vice President, Jackson Market, Tony Baker, and Regional Vice President, Assistant Vice President, Treasury Management Officer, I just gave you a promotion. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Libby Lashwood. Uh, a lot more coming up on today's